Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can import some specific data from your Shopify store into Google Sheets application automatically. So guys, if you're running a store on Shopify and you want that the details of the orders of a particular product will be saved into your spreadsheet in Google Sheets application, this automation is for you. And here you do not have to manually see the order details and you do not have to manually add the data. You just have to connect Shopify as the trigger application and Google Sheets in the action. And this automation is going to do this for you. And here we are going to set up this automation without any coding. So let's begin. Set up this automation, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And I have pasted the same link in the description. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. You can just sign up right now from the given link. And after that, follow me through the video and create your first workflow. And after signing up, you just have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect. And from here, click on this create workflow button and here give a name to the workflow. So I'm giving the name here. All right, so I have given this name and after that, click on create button and you can see your workflow page will load up like this. And here you will find these two modules, the trigger and action. So our automations are based on these two things. So trigger starts this workflow and the action is the consequence of the trigger, which is going to happen automatically. Okay. So here guys, in our use case, uh, getting an order of a specific product on your Shopify store is going to act as a trigger for this workflow and adding the details of that product into Google Sheets will act as an action. Okay. So here, first of all, I'm going to choose Shopify as the trigger application and the trigger event would be new order, select new order. And it will give you this webhook URL. So with the help of this, we are going to create a connection with Shopify. And after that, we are going to capture the response of that connection. Okay, so to make this connection, you need to reach your Shopify applications dashboard. So let me open my Shopify store dashboard. And here is the dashboard and on the left hand side panel, when uh, on this bottom side, you can see the settings option, you have to click on settings. Under settings page, on the left hand side panel, when you scroll down, you will find this notifications tab, click on it. Under notifications page, when you scroll down, you will find webhooks option. Okay. Here is webhooks. And here you have to click on this create webhook button. All right, and then it will ask for choosing the event on which you want to send the data with the help of this connection. So I want that whenever I receive an order, I should receive the data of that order. So here is order creation event, select this. Format of the data should be JSON. Here in this URL field, you have to paste this webhook URL that you got from your workflow. So you just have to copy this from here and you have to add this here in this field. And here you have to select the API version of Webhook as the latest version. Okay, then click on save. All right. And you can see the Webhook is saved here successfully. Right. And here we can see as I have copied the URL, it started showing waiting for the Webhook connections response. This means now you have to perform a test submission. Test submission means now we are going to manually create a demo order or a fake order on our store manually and the details of that order will be captured here in this response and that will act as a test data for us to set up the automation further. So guys, you have to open your store and here we are going to create an test order manually. Okay, so let's say I want to save the details of this specific product, the center table into my spreadsheet. So I'm going to create an order for this product only. Okay, so I'm clicking on buy it now. Okay, so this is the checkout page here, I'm going to provide a dummy email address. Okay, so I have provided these details, the name of my customer is demo name. Okay. And here I'm clicking on continue to shipping. Here I'm clicking on continue to payment. And we are going to create a test payment here. This is not an original payment. So we are using test card details here. Okay. This is the test data. 
all right and here I'm clicking on pay now and here you can see the order is being processed and here you can see the order is confirmed so we got an order for this specific product center table and I want to save the details of the sale of this product only into my spreadsheet okay so first of all let's check our workflow if we got the data captured and here you can see guys in this response received section we have received the details as this you can see the currency details the price amount okay and you will find all other details as these you can see the customers details the name the address okay and the payment details are also captured all right and here you can see the product details center table the sku the quantity okay everything and the product id also is here so guys every product in shopify have a unique product id okay so you can see the product id is here and this is the unique id for each item that you have on your store okay so guys i want to save the details of this product only the center table that i have just purchased or just go, uh, got an order of okay so for this i'm going to apply a condition here i am going to apply a filter here which is going to filter out the orders of this product only okay for that use this action step and here apply this filter you have you'll find this filter here select this and with the help of this feature we can apply this filter and here it is asking select the label so here guys i'm going to select this product id label and i'm going to make the filter type as equals to and in the value i'm going to provide this same value this product id okay so that whenever this product id uh, whenever the product id is equal to this product id that means when the center tables only got sold then the workflow is going to continue and send the details of the order to the spreadsheet okay so you just have to come here and click here and the previous trigger step will appear in the drop down and when you click on it it will show you all the data here so from here you have to search for product id here it is selected make the filter type equals to and in the value just copy this product id's value here okay just copy this and paste it here like this okay then click on save and send test request button and here you can see it is showing the condition is true okay status is success so whenever this condition matches true that means whenever you are going to get an order of this product id then this workflow is going to continue otherwise this workflow will stop here only okay and when this uh, this is going to continue what we want we want to send the data to this spreadsheet here you can see this is my spreadsheet and here i am saving these details the customer's name email order date and the quantity of the order and here you can see the sheet's name is center tables so this will save the details of center tables orders only okay right so for this to happen just click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up from here you have to connect with google sheets search for google sheets and select the action event as add new row then click on connect from here select add new connection then click on sign in with google from here you have to select that google account by which you have created that spreadsheet then you have to provide the access to your google account just click on allow that is completely safe and you can see the authorization is successful and we'll be connected with google sheets all right and here it is asking to select your spreadsheet's name so name of my spreadsheet is this shopify specifics okay so when you click here it will show you the list of all the spreadsheets that you have from here you have to select the relevant one then you have to select the sheets name so my sheets name is this center table so it got auto selected here because we have only one table right now okay and here it started showing the customer name email order date and quantity fields these are the headers of the columns i have and to get this data here you need to map the values of these fields here here in this workflow okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to map this data from the previous steps and uh, the data will be forwarded okay so you just have to click here and from this first step map the name of the customer this is the name map it 
demo name was the name for the email search for email this is the email order date so you can search for order date here you can see the processed at label here you will find the date on which the order got processed okay right and here in the quantity you can search for quantity label you can see the quantity you can map any of either of these two labels like this okay then click on save and send test request button to check your connection with google sheets and a new row will be added here let me show you i am clicking on save and send test request button and this is the response we have received let's check in the spreadsheet if we got the data and here you can see guys we have received the data like this okay so guys this is how it is going to work and when you map the labels here like this guys in real time whenever you are going to get an order of the center table product these labels are going to be updated here automatically and new data will arrive here of the new customer okay so you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow after that whenever you are going to receive an order of this specific specific product whose product id you have mapped here in the filter then this workflow is going to send the details to your spreadsheet automatically and guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free pavli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel